even reducing the Members road toll, and this government expired. will take every measure it can to do that. I call Derek Gould. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, uh, it's a pleasure to rise on behalf of New Zealand First to speak on the Land Transport Random Oral Fluid Testing Amendment Bill. We will not be supporting this bill. And uh, there are a very good number of reasons for this, and I will uh, use the next four and a half minutes to lecture the National Party on how, just how wrong they are and how self-righteous they are sitting there. And I don't want to rep repeat the entire speech of um, the previous member that just sat down. But they had nine years, nine years, to put any sort of legislation in to curb not only the drug issues with the drug driving issues, because we understand that it is an issue. It is an issue. But also the drunk driving fatality crashes in this, in this country. Now, that member who was the author of this bill, or is, who's um, looking after this bill at this stage, presented to the House, quoted some figures. And what he failed to mention was that those figures started from 2013, and they went up and up and up and up, both for drug driving and drink driving. So why now? Why has that member, and I'm, I'm sure that he'll use the last five minutes of his uh, uh, call over this last five minutes, explaining exactly why the National Party didn't do anything when they were in government. I'd just like to read the purpose of the bill, Madam Speaker, first. The purpose of the bill is to introduce a more effective regime for detecting drug driving in relation to THC, MDMA, methamphetamine, by allowing for random oral fluid, te uh, fluid testing by an enforcement officer. It's most important to understand that no member in this House nor any party in this House disagrees with that purpose. Every single person in this House does not agree, I would suggest, does not agree with anyone driving with any sort of impairment. And that member, when he stood up and read the first, his first speech, said that this bill was about saving lives. And of course, if any parliament that was going to vote on any piece of legislation that was going to save lives, of course we would. Just like that member would have in the previous nine years if his government actually came up with the programme that he's saying will actually save lives. Because if it did, then why didn't the National Party do it? I think it's vitally important also, Madam Speaker, to have a look at the attitudes and the advances or lack thereof of the National Party and some of the facts that National Party had to deal with over the last nine, nine years and some of the statements that they made. The report from the Ministry of Transport, and there was a report around drug driving, was originally given to the previous national government, which and who the national government repeatedly declined to include saliva testing. Repeatedly declined. Would that member want to ask that question again? What, what, what has this got to do with the bill? You mean, you mean what I'm talking about, saliva testing? drug saliva testing. See, that member doesn't like it when it's turned around on the National Party and the facts are laid bare. The facts are laid bare that that member and that National Party didn't do anything about it when they were in government. Lack of funding from the National Government contributed to a reduction of more than 40 per cent in roadside alcohol testing. A, a reduction of more than 40 per cent in roadside alcohol yeah, testing I, I over the past think five the years, has a point. Would you, would you while the, the road point? toll rose by 50 per cent. Well, the Madam point? Speaker, I'm talking about the road toll. Now, if that doesn't have anything to do with this bill, I'm not sure what does. Well, no, just talking about the road, road, the, the road toll isn't, isn't discussing the bill. If you relate it to the bill, then that's perfectly fine. In 2013, Simon Bridges told reporters accurate testing methods needed to be identified before random roadside drug testing could be introduced. 2013. It was included in the Safer Journeys Action Plan, the two-year one. That means that it was ready to go in 2015 and there were no changes whatsoever from this National Party. There has been a massive increase, like that member has spoken about, in the drug driving fatality accidents uh, since 2013 from 14 to 79 in 2017. Why wasn't anything done? Why wasn't anything done? And, that's just, and that member says, why, why don't we do it now? The reason why we, why we are not voting for this piece of legislation is because although we agree with the purpose, it will not fulfil its expectations. It will not. And this government is working hard to come up with those solutions that we will be bringing to this House. We agree with the intent. We will agree with the purpose. 
But this bill will not achieve what it sets out to achieve. We'll not be supporting it, Madam Speaker. Speaker. Uh, before I call the next speaker, I'm, I do apologise. We haven't got a motion on the floor, so the question is that the motion be agreed to. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. The I motion. call the Honourable Maggie Barry. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair.